Okay, we're going to talk about shifting and blocking, which is probably one of the most important things a catcher needs to know. I've been here at the University of New Mexico for 18 years, and in those 18 years, I had very few catchers, if any, come in here with a proper understanding of shifting and blocking. I think this is one of the most neglected things taught to the catchers, especially young catchers, in the States today. And it's one of the most important things, but it's really neglected. We need to pay more attention to training our catchers to be able to block balls that are in the dirt. Now, here at the university, number one, we talked earlier about mobility and positioning. And we use an up position when people are on base. We mainly need to block the ball when people are on base to keep them from advancing to one base to another. So we're going to start Michelle up in the up position, and we're going to shift and block to our left a pitch that's thrown into the dirt. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and let Michelle demonstrate. Michelle, go ahead and go to your left. Okay, relax and come on up. Okay, now you can be in a down position and relax, Michelle. Okay, now what basically Michelle did was there was a ball was thrown to her left. She took her lead leg and she stepped out with her lead leg. Now, as this brought her body to the midline of the ball, now she drug her other leg over so she could close down the gap in between and keep a space from developing for the ball to go through. Now, she came and brought the ball to the midline of her body. Now, her glove came down to cover what space is left here, and she brought her shoulders down and her head down to the ground towards the ball. Notice her glove was on the ground. We don't want the glove off the ground because now there's a chance it can go out. So we bring the glove all the way down to the ground, okay, and our free hand up. After the ball makes contact, then we come after it with the free hand. Now, things that you probably didn't notice were shoulders. Michelle was bowing her shoulders as she came down here. That, in case the ball comes up and hits her high, that will direct it back out towards the field, where when your shoulders are square, now it has more an opportunity to go off to the side. Percentages say we've done a, a lot of charts and graphs and so forth, and if you keep the ball in front of you, 95% of the time, people will not run if you keep the ball in front of you. If they go to the side, there's a little lower percentage that they will run, or a high percentage they will run. If it goes behind, there's a very high percentage they will run. So we tell our catchers we want to keep the ball in front, keep the ball in front of them. So we try to square our body to the ball. We want to bow our shoulders so in case we do get a bad hop up here, it will bounce out in front. And remember, what is the name of the drill? What is the name of the technique? It's shift and block. It is not shift and catch. We don't teach our athletes to catch the ball. We teach them to stay down here and block it and keep the ball in front of them. Okay, now, <clears throat> when the ball is thrown to Michelle's right, the thing is executed the same way except to the other side. Go ahead, Michelle, and show us one to the right. Very good. Now, stay right there, Michelle. Now, notice, Michelle <clears throat> has brought her body to the midline of the ball, okay, so we're right here. She's filling the hole, the space between her legs here. She's filling it with her glove. Okay, she's drug her other <clears throat> leg over. Her head is down. Now, we don't want to head your head up. When your head's up, number one, you're not watching the ball. And number two, you can get hit in the neck. We don't want to do that. So we want to keep our chin down to protect the neck and also keep our head down so we keep down on the ball. And now she has a nice square blocking surface here. The next ball is the one that is really slow and it's coming straight across the plate. The main thing about this is we want to smother it. So we want to move into the ball. One of the mistakes catchers make is they just drop down to their knees and that ball's right in front of them. And what happens when you just drop on your knees is you have the tendency to stand tall. And when you stand tall, then you create gaps, you create holes. And your glove doesn't go all the way down to the ground. So the key to this one here is you want to shoot out at the ball. You want to be aggressive and you want to attack it. So what Michelle's going to do here is it's the ball that's thrown right at her, it's in the dirt. She is going to shoot forward onto her knees, slide into the ball, and block it. Go ahead, up position, and here comes the pitch. Go ahead, Michelle. Okay, excellent job. Again, notice the blocking surface, the square here that she has created that keep the ball in front of her. She hit on her knees and she slid forward about three or four inches. We're not trying to slide off the field. All we're trying to do is do movement into the ball so we keep our body down and we don't create any holes. And notice how nice and covered everything up is here.
There you go. Good. That was a real good one.